This morning on Today's Health, the checkups every woman needs this year. It takes time, money, and let's face it, no one likes going to the doctor. But making just a few appointments could help you have a much healthier 2012. So here to take us through the most important doctor visits to make this year is Dr. Roshani Raj, Today contributor and author of What the Yuck? The Freaky <laughs> and Fabulous Truth About Your Body. Dr. Raj, good morning. Good morning, Amy. All right, first off, Let's put this out there because we just said it. No one likes to go to the doctor. No offense to present company. But <laughs> yes. even if we're healthy, you say we should still make these appointments. Absolutely. You know, it's around the New Year time. People have resolutions to be healthy and they're going to the gym, dieting. But what's equally important is getting those preventative care, the screening checks that you need. So you do need to go to the doctor. So this first one is the one I'm probably most guilty of not making. The appointment yeah. with your family care physician, your right. primary care physician. Why should you have a yearly physical? Well, there's some very basic tests you need. Don't just go to a specialist when you're sick, but get the routine things like a blood pressure check. Blood pressure is not just a disease of older age people. It can happen in younger people as well. Diabetes you want to be screened for with a fasting blood sugar, cholesterol as well, especially if you have a family history of heart disease. And then as you get older, things like a bone density check to make sure you're not at risk for osteoporosis, a fecal occult blood test which checks for colon cancer, or any other type of internal bleeding. There are a lot of very basic things you should be checked for even if you feel great. Okay, and the next appointment women should miss and that is their annual trip to the gynecologist. Exactly. And there's been a lot of confusing data out there about when we should get pap smears, when we should get mammograms. You're right. How do you know how to figure it out? Well, this is why it's crucial to see your gynecologist because it's a very individual thing and all the guidelines you hear about in the news are just broad guidelines for the public, not for an individual person. You may have a particular risk in your family. You might need to get your mammogram earlier, get your pap smear more frequently, get screened for STDs. And every time you go to the gynecologist, you're getting a breast exam, a pelvic exam, so at least once a year you should be visiting them and talk about these other cancer screening tests. And speaking of that, another appointment you say we should all make is one to the dermatologist, and this isn't just for aesthetic purposes. No. This <laughs> is to get a full body check for yes, skin cancer. Exactly. We're talking about skin cancer. Everyone should get them every so often, every three years under 30, every year over 40. But if you are fair skinned, if you've had a lot of sun exposure, you need to go more often. So at least get a baseline full body check and then talk to your dermatologist about how frequently you should return. Well, I'm proud because I just just went to the dentist so I can say this one with a smile on my yes. face but you should go to the dentist not just about your oral hygiene but it's about your overall health too yes. correct? and this is one so many people let fall by the wayside they only go when they have a toothache but you really need to get frequent cleaning every six months get checks for cavities because recent research shows that poor dental hygiene can be linked to things like heart disease inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis so it's not all about having the pearly whites it's about right. being healthy inside your mouth and this one this last one is a tough one um, make an appointment with a gastro wait gastroenterologist if I said that right yes. for a colonoscopy yes that's over 50 over 50 for everyone but younger if you have a family history of the disease if you personally have Crohn's disease or colitis I'm actually a gastroenterologist so this is what I do all day every uh -oh, day I've offended you twice not now. at all <laughs> not at all I know it's a tough one but actually it's a it's a test that can really save your life colon cancer is one of the leading cancers one of the leading causes of cancer death and it's absolutely preventable with a test like a colonoscopy. And and truth be told, a lot of people have every intention of doing all this, yeah. but it just gets so hard with the busy schedules we all have. Is there an yeah. easier way to make appointments? Absolutely. Now technology is helping us. Many doctor's offices have online booking, and there's a new service called ZocDoc or ZocDoc.com where you can search by your zip code, the type of doctor you're looking for, which insurance you have, and they will give you all the available appointments in your area, often within 72 hours, which is great. Many times you can't find a doctor for weeks, but this, this service takes advantage of cancellation and so they even have a mobile phone app, ZocDoc, where you can, mm. you know, there's no more excuses. No excuses. You can do it anywhere you are. Make your appointment. All right, Dr. Roshani Raj, thanks so much. Thank you, Amy. And we're back, but first, these messages.